And Jesus said to his parents, Why were you looking for me? Did you not know that I must be in my father's house? Luke 2, 49. Put that in your heart this week. Jesus says where he will be found. Well, we've been looking for a new year. We found it. 2021. Does it bother anybody that now the new year is 2021? Think about it for a second. No, no, okay, never mind. Write it down, maybe, and spell one, W-O-N. Maybe you'll get it a little later on. We've been looking for something in this new year, maybe not wearing masks everywhere we go. Maybe it is going out to eat and sit down inside a restaurant, not a tent that's heated. Maybe we're looking for in this new year to actually be able to go to a ball game. Those are some of the things we have been looking for. Where can all these things be found? Hopefully in the year 2021. But as human beings, we are all looking for something. It is how God makes us to be able to search for things, to look for things in our lives and in our world. There's a story told about a man who loved adventure. He loved to go out fishing, fly fishing out on the rivers for trouts, and rock climbing and canoeing and things like that. And he also loved movies. And so when the movie A River Runs Through It came out, this was right up his alley about fly fishing out in the wilds of Montana and out west. And so he went to go watch this movie. And he went by himself. His wife wasn't interested. His boys were too young for it at the time. And so he watches the movie. It's a pretty good movie. At the end of the movie, though, he finds himself during the closing credits weeping because he hadn't realized what it was that he was doing while he was out there, fly fishing especially. And that movie awakened in him what he had been looking for. He was looking for his father who had abandoned him years before. And every time he went out fly fishing, he was looking for his dad who taught him how to fly fish when he was a young boy. He was looking for something. And it was a movie that awakened him in that. John Jacob Niles was a wanderer who loved to look for things, especially folk music in America. And he went all over Appalachia looking for the songs that the people would sing, and he wandered, and he finally heard that one song, I Wonder As I Wander, it was, as it was sung by a sweet young girl. He was looking for things. We all look for things in this life. So we just had Christmas. What did we find this past Christmas? Well, we found that we didn't have certain things. We weren't able to gather together, for the most part, with extended family. Travel was restricted, and we were wanting not to get sick because of the, of the possibility of contracting this virus. We didn't find parties, that's for sure. Christmas parties were put on hold. The parties here at St. Matthew were put on hold for the year. We didn't find candlelight on Christmas Eve. We had glow sticks. Let's not do that again, please. Let's hope we were able to get candles for next year's Christmas Eve service. We also didn't find snow for Christmas this year. Came a couple days later, but we didn't have that white Christmas that so many of us look for at Christmas time. As we look through life, and as we are looking for things to find, there really is only one thing that can be found, and that is Jesus himself. We find him first in the manger, and then we find him in the temple. And then we'll find him at the Jordan River. We'll find him out in the wilderness. We'll find him in Cana of Galilee, in Jerusalem, in Jericho, in the Decapolis, in the Gadarenes. All over the Middle East we will find Jesus healing and teaching and raising the dead. And eventually we will find Jesus scourged in a Roman prison, nailed to a Roman cross, buried in a borrowed tomb. And then we will not find him in that tomb anymore three days later. Because Jesus rises from the dead after dying on the cross to forgive each one of us all our sins. 
That's what we are looking for. We are looking for Jesus, our Savior. As the angel said, Christ the Lord, the Savior. He is named the Lord saves because he is the Lord who saves us from our sins, from death, and from the power of the devil. And when you find Jesus, you find that you find everything else that is worthwhile in this world. And you find that you also have eternal life. When Jesus is found in your heart through faith, everything else is found. So where can we find Jesus today in 2021? We can find him in the Word. John tells us that he is the Word, and we find him on every page of this book. He is in here. He is speaking to us and teaching us and drawing us closer to God. We find him where he is promised to be, in the sacraments, the sacrament of holy baptism, where with the water, the word is combined to give us faith in the forgiveness of sins, to drown that old Adam that can't find anything but death and sin. He is found in, with, and under the bread and the wine for us Christians to eat and drink, for the forgiveness of our sins, for life itself, and for salvation. He is found in worship. You ever notice in our worship services how much of our worship service is actually this? Jesus is here. We sing it, we hear it, we read it. His word is here. And it is in worship that the sacrament of baptism, the sacrament of holy communion, is also found. All of these places is where Jesus promises to be. And if we're looking for Jesus, and let's be honest, we all are, this is where he can be found. We also find Jesus where we serve in the church. We need deacons to serve. And you will find Jesus in your service. You will find Jesus in your service as a trustee or as an usher and all the other places where you can serve in the church. And we find Jesus within each one of us as we gather together. Where two or three are gathered, Jesus says, there am I in the midst of them. As you are looking for Jesus, here is where he is found. And let's tell other people where Jesus can be found as well. In Jesus' name, amen.